Hey everyone, it's me Nita and welcome to my channel. I literally just pulled out my camera because me and my husband are going to pick up a, another machine. Um, crazy, I know, but we're doing some big changes with our business and we are getting the supplies we need to grow the business where we need it to be. So. We're gonna be driving five hours. We live in California, but we're gonna be driving to Oregon to pick up this machine. So we're gonna be driving five hours there and then five hours back. We were planning, or we were hoping actually, to actually pick up this machine um, earlier this morning. We wanted to leave like super early this morning, pick it up, drive back, and be home later tonight. Um, but the lady didn't get back to us until about two hours ago. Um, and so basically we're gonna go ahead and leave uh, tonight, but it's so last minute we're just gonna drive up there um, and basically it sounds crazy, but we're just gonna sleep in our car to pick up this machine early in the morning tomorrow. She wants us to pick it up at 9 a.m. I was kind of hoping she would let us pick it up a little bit earlier. Um, maybe if she wakes up earlier, she'll let us pick it up earlier. But we're gonna go ahead and leave. It's already pretty late. Not like incredibly late, but it's pretty late. Um, so we're just gonna pack up our stuff, just stuff for us to sleep in our car tonight. And then we're gonna pick up this new machine in the morning and then drive back home and get this machine up and running. The good thing about this is she did send us a video of her using the machine and um, everything works perfectly. So I'm really excited to get this machine because basically as soon as we get it inside the house and we get it all set up, we're in business. So I'm very excited because this is gonna help grow our business faster and hopefully we'll get more sales in um, because the type of stuff that we're wanting to do really requires this machine. It'll make our life a whole lot easier. So I'm just really excited to get this machine and get it up and running and have some fun with it. So I'm gonna go ahead, pack our stuff, and I will see you guys in the car. I'm not gonna bring my camera with me, so I am going to be using my phone, so it is gonna be probably lower quality until I get back home and we get the machine set up and ready to go. So I'll see you guys in the car. We're probably gonna pick up some dinner, eat in the car, and camp out in our car and pick up our new machine. So we're gonna go on a little adventure. All right, guys, so I'm in my car. We're about to leave. Sorry, I'm filming on my phone and the lighting is horrendous, but basically just packed a little bag. Um, we packed our pillows and some blankets and we are just gonna drive and when we get there, just find somewhere to sleep, I guess. But um, I'm kind of excited. This is a fun little adventure. My kids are actually spending the night at their grandparents' house. Um, they're old enough now. I feel like that they can spend the night at their grandparents now. Um, so that's been very nice and it's been very convenient that they were able to watch them tonight for us to be able to go do this because um, we actually had to remove their car seats and all their stuff back there because we're gonna fit this machine back there. So I'm really tired so I might just probably sleep the whole way there. Um, luckily we don't have too many orders that we have to work on. I just have a few hat orders and, and a few little random orders that I have to work on. So luckily I don't have a busy weekend. So once we get this machine, um, home and inside our house tomorrow, um, I'll be able to just play around with it and probably stop at like a Walmart or something and get some snacks and some water. Um, we really don't have anything with us besides our small little bag, so I brought my iPad so we could watch like a movie or something on Netflix. So I'm excited. This is like a little spontaneous little trip. You excited? Oh yeah. Fun. Fun, fun, fun. fun. I'm not too excited about the, the five hour trip, but you know, this machine's going to be well worth it. And again, I'm excited to show you guys what we're getting. I'm excited. I just can't wait to show you guys, but... Again, we found this one on Facebook Marketplace. I'm gonna stop rambling and I'll see you guys in a bit. All right guys, I know it's been a few days. Um, I'm gonna go into details on how we got the DTG, but we got the DTG and it is up and running. Um, I am going to use it tonight because my mom wants me to make her a tote bag, so I'm gonna use it tonight to make her that. But before we do that, I kinda wanna tell you guys like, how it all went down because this 
getting this machine was by far the most stressful thing that I've been through in a very long time. Um, so I think where we left off last time was us leaving to go to Oregon. It was a five hour drive. Um, I believe we left around like nine o'clock ish. Um, and we ended up getting in Oregon, I want to say around like 2.33 in the morning. We ended up stopping at a rest station, I guess. I think that's what they're called. And uh, we spent the night in our car, which was a lot of fun. It was like a little mini camping trip. Um, we didn't really have much. All we did was buy a couple snacks from a gas station and uh, just watch our, some stuff on our phone. And then we just fell asleep. It was really hard, though, to get good sleep just because I was so anxious on getting this machine. Um, we were supposed to pick up the machine at 9 a.m. I ended up waking up. Uh, at 8 a.m. Uh, wide awake and ready to go so me and Eric we ended up waking up at 8 and we still probably had like a 30 minute drive until we were in the town where we were supposed to pick up the DTG um, so we went and like got breakfast but honestly like me and him were both like super nervous so we didn't really eat much just because our stomach was tied in knots um, so around 8:45 ish we decided to give her a call to let her know um, that we're in the area and that uh, if she's available we would like to pick up the machine early but she didn't answer <laughs> we ended up calling her probably a good 50 times because she, she, like when we would call it would go straight to voicemail and I was getting pretty nervous at that point so you know we gave it till like 10 o'clock we kept calling we kept calling and then once 10 o'clock rolled around, I was like, she's a scam and uh, she never had the DTG. Um, like all these bad thoughts were running through my mind. I would say that probably Eric was the only one that was being positive and optimistic. He was saying um, maybe she like slept through her alarm or maybe her phone is off and she's sleeping. Uh, so he was being a little bit more opt optimistic than me. Um, but once 11 o'clock came around and she still wasn't answering, we told ourselves, okay, we'll wait until 12 just in case, you know, she was asleep and her phone was off. So we were just really banking on that idea. But once noon rolled around, um, we were like, okay, well, we just might as well go home. There's no point in us staying. Um, and we were pretty, pretty mad. And I was also pretty sad too. I was like in tears almost um, just because we drove five hours. Um, we probably spent around $200 in gas just to get up there and back. Um, so I was upset that we wasted $200 in gas money. Um, my kids, they had to stay the night at my mom's house. So basically the entire weekend, um, I didn't get to see my kids because they were at my mom's house because we were dealing with trying to get this printer. Um, so I was in tears because I just felt like it was a complete waste of our time and I felt like she basically just scammed us and I don't know just wanted us to drive out there just for just for the heck of it I don't know um, but as soon as we like gotten back in our car and we're about to drive off she ended up calling us and we were in shock that she even called us but we, Eric was right, she ended up having her phone off and she slept in. You know, it was 4th of July weekend, so she enjoyed herself. She had a night off. She was working really hard all week, she said, and um, she had a few drinks and she ended up sleeping in. So we were upset that we wasted so much time because my mom needed us to be back by a certain time um, and because we, didn't pick up the machine at nine and get back on the road like right away. Uh, we didn't get on back on the road until like 1.30 because um, when we picked up the machine, she kind of wanted to go over everything with us and how to like maintain the machine and how to run the machine. She also did like a test print for us. So that took a little bit of time, which I do appreciate her doing all that and showing us all that stuff, but I was getting anxious to hurry up and get back home to pick up my kids. But I was stressed out like I literally thought we weren't gonna get the machine and I was so sad and so bummed that we wasted our time that we wasted our money to drive out there but luckily you know 
she called us back and we were able to get a hold of her and we were able to go pick up the machine. I'm beyond thankful. You know, it sucked that we didn't get home until super late. Um, it was a major inconvenience for my husband and I and for my mom because, you know, she had the kids like all weekend because we weren't anticipating on being gone for that long. We thought we were just going to be back by morning time or by, by noonish. Um, but we didn't get home until probably like six or seven and then we had to unload the printer. Uh, we didn't pick up our kids until like 7.30 at night. Um, so it was just a really chaotic weekend. Um, but again, I'm just happy we got the machine. I'm happy the machine runs and works. Um, so if you watched my other previous video, we did purchase um, a DTG for 200 bucks. It doesn't work. But Epson, they do, they do offer a plan where you could pay $2,500 and a tech will come out and get your machine in whatever condition it is, as long as it turns on, they'll come and fix the machine. Um, so we've been, you know, saving up our money to get that machine fixed, but this person, she, uh, she had this amazing killer deal for this machine. She just wanted to get rid of it because, um, she had a business with her husband and they ended up getting divorced so she just wanted to get rid of the machine as quickly as possible so you know we were able to snag the machine and now we'll have two machines um, and luckily this one is up and running and works already so we can just jump right in and start working on t-shirt orders and just list 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 um, and whatever money we make from this machine we'll be able to reinvest it into the machine that isn't working at the moment and then once we have that machine fixed, we'll have two working DTGs, um, which hopefully come fourth quarter during Christmas time, we'll need to have two machines. That's what we're hoping for. So I've been working on a ton of listing photos and mock-up photos, and I'm gonna be working on listing just a bunch of new shirts and just all that stuff. Um, Eric, he is gonna be starting a new business um, called Red E Print Shop and he's going to be working with businesses getting t-shirt orders through um, through businesses and doing bulk orders and stuff like that. We are going to be get, getting back into DTF transfers. We'll go into that more in another video but um, we will start doing DTF transfers in the future. Um, so stay tuned. So stay tuned for a video on DTF transfers because we're going to be bringing them back. Um, Eric said it's not just his business, it's our business because we'll both be running it, but he's going to be starting up a business that will just focus on just like doing bulk orders and wholesale orders for people. We are going to come up with like bundles and stuff to offer for customers to be able to uh, purchase shirts from us if they want to buy in bulk. So, But again, we're going to go over that in a whole completely separate video, so just keep a lookout for that video. Um, but let's go ahead and let's make this tote bag. Um, Eric's been playing around with the machine doing a ton of shirts. I've been playing around with the machine um, doing like tote bags and stuff. So I want to show you guys how I make a tote bag and how the machine works. Um, I love it. I'm obsessed with it. Um, Etsy's been super slow, but, but it's kind of nice though because it gives us time to work on listings and test out the machine and dial the machine in because it does take a little bit of a technique to getting the pre-treat down and all that stuff. We still need to purchase a ton more equipment to run the DTG like a pre-treat machine, but right now we're just kind of using a, not a Wagner, but we're using like a spray type of gun to spray on the pre-treat air sprayer, I guess. Um, so we definitely are going to be saving up money for a pre-treat machine and we also need to upgrade our heat press as well. Um, luckily, Vivor sent me out a new 15 by 15 heat press so we're going to need like three heat presses So because we, we're doing all the pre-treating out in our garage just because the pre-treat gets everywhere and we don't want it to be super sticky and just make a mess inside of the house so we'll need to have a heat press out in the garage um, and then we'll need a bigger heat press as well and then uh, to kind of help keep up with printing and heat pressing the shirts we'll need two heat presses to be able to keep up with um, heat pressing the shirts because you have to heat press it with the pre-treat and then you have to heat press it once the image is printed onto the shirt 
So you have to do quite a bit of heat pressing. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys my new heat press along with how my new, new-ish, new to me used DTG machine um, and how it works. So let's go ahead and let's make something. Okay, so I have the new, there goes the DTG, but I have the new heat press um, out of the box. So this is kind of like a size comparison. So this is the Vivor and then I have the Black Series from Heat Press Nation. I love this thing. This thing will pop up um, automatically once the timer goes off. That's the only thing I don't like about this one. It doesn't have a timer where it will automatically just open up, but that's okay. So um, I need to plug it in and then once this shirt is done printing, I'm going to go ahead and do tote bag, but uh, I'm excited to test this heat press out because again, this one's going to go in the garage and this one we need to move down. So we're going to be, we're going to be redoing this whole room. So um, we're going to be moving this kitchen table downward. Um, the sewing machines are going to go into um, a separate room. So I'm going to have like a complete separate room just for sewing and packaging. So um, this table will be scooted down. We're going to put our other DTG um, over here on the table. We'll have this DTG right here. And then on this side of the room, uh, we're going to take out this table. This table is my packaging table. So we're going to move this to a separate room. So this table will be moved. Um, we're going to move this barnyard table, I guess. We're going to move that down. Um, to where this table is currently and then um, um, and this embroider machine I'm going to be selling and then once this table is all moved down we're going to put our other embroider machine it's going to go right next to this one because we have the same exact machine uh, out in the garage we just haven't had the man strength to get it moved into the house so um, we're going to be moving that into the house soon and it'll be going right over here so I'm just not sure how we're gonna do the heat press because um, I don't want it too close to the DTG um, but we need to figure out where we're gonna be putting the heat presses we only have one for now that we'll have in this room and the other one's gonna go in the garage um, but eventually we're gonna need a bigger one so I don't know when when that happens when we're going to um, how we're gonna fit it in here because this room is just, it's running out of space but yeah, so stay tuned for a new craft room tour and then a new sewing room tour because I'm going to have a whole separate sewing room just for my sewing machines, which will kind of be nice. My sewing room is also going to be my podcast room as well. And then uh, it's also going to be our like homeschool room as well. So um, just stay tuned for just a new craft room and sewing room tour. I'm really excited to just take over another room, I guess. I'm gonna stop rambling. I'm gonna go ahead and get my tote bag started. I'm really excited to show you guys how I make tote bags. Okay guys, so this is the design I'm gonna be adding to the tote bag. So this is a program called Garment Creator. Um, this program's free, so we've been using this to run the DTG machine. So I have my Im image up. For tote bags, I like to do the image as 11 and a half by 11 and a half, but as long as the width is 11 and a half, that's all that matters. Um, I have the design ready to go on the machine. All I have to do is just press print. Um, right now, the heat press is warming up. I'm gonna go ahead and heat press the tote bag um, to get all the moisture out. Um, luckily with the tote bags though, you don't have to do any pre-treat on the tote bag, so I love that about doing these because I don't want to mess with pre-treat until we get a pre-treat machine. I'm going to leave all the pre-treating up to my husband just because I already know I'm not going to have the patience for that. So in the meantime, I'm just doing stuff that I know doesn't need any type of pre-treat. So um, once this heat press is ready, so we have the heat press set to 350 for 45 seconds. I'm hoping that will be a good temperature for the tote bags. I know that's what we use for the shirts. It should be fine though. And then over here on our DTG machine, we don't have a platen that has like a, it doesn't come with a frame, but we're actually using this like sticky material. They use it for screen printing, um, but basically it's super tacky and sticky. So you can literally just lay the shirt or the tote bag, whatever you're printing on, onto the platen and it'll stick. So you don't need a frame or anything on it. So. Um, once I'm done heat pressing and getting all the moisture out of this tote bag, 
I'm just gonna lay it onto here. Um, but once this is ready, um, we'll get started. One reason, another reason why you would want two different heat presses, um, because one heat press you'll need to have light pressure and the other heat press you'll need to have um, heavy pressure and technically you could switch back and forth with your heat press, but when you have a ton of t-shirt orders, you don't wanna be stopping and adjusting, adjusting the pressure just because you wanna keep you know, a rhythm up. Um, so when you are doing the pre-treat onto like a shirt, you want to use heavy pressure. Um, and then for like drying the ink after you print it, you want to use light pressure. So that's one reason why we want to get a, another heat press so we can kind of go back and forth. Because this tote bag doesn't need any pre-treat, I'm just going to leave it at the same pressure so I don't have to like switch it back and forth. But, so this looks ready. I'm gonna go ahead and press it. Very light pressure. And you also wanna lint roll it too. So I'm gonna go ahead and lint roll it just cause you wanna get all those like, fibers and everything off of the tote bag. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and put my tote bag onto the DTG. Just kind of make sure that the tote bag is as flat as possible. I'm taking the handles and kind of tucking them underneath. Again, you don't need a frame for this platen because we have this sticky, like giant piece of tape on it basically. So I am going to do a whole tutorial on how to use like the F2000, like on the step-by-step -step video. For this video, I'm not. I'm just going to show you guys uh, how a tote bag looks on a DTG. But I will definitely be doing a lot of tutorials on how to use this machine, even though it's an older machine. Um, I'm still going to do a ton of tutorials on it, so definitely, if you haven't already, subscribe um, so you don't miss any of the DTG tutorials that I'll be doing. The tote is ready to go. All I have to do now is just press go. It's going to take the tote and start printing. I am going to print twice onto this tote bag because, again, I'm not pre-treating it, so um, doing a second coat will kind of make the design a little bit more vibrant. The platen is actually too high, so I need to lower it. All right, so as you guys can see, it's not like super vibrant. So um, we have the machine set up to where it'll print one time and it'll be on a timer for about 30 seconds. And then after that timer, it will suck it back in and basically do another coat onto the image so it'll be a little bit darker so there it goes and it's gonna go ahead and do another coat okay so it did its last little print so I'm gonna carefully pick it up because you can easily smudge the ink I did that once when I was trying to put a shirt on okay. Oh, I love how easy that is to push down. Now we're just heat pressing it for, I think, 45 seconds. Okay. All right, so there is the tote bag. I seriously, I'm addicted to having a DTG and making tote bags. These are so much fun. Okay, guys, so um, I'm in love with my DTG. Um, I love my additional heat press. This is going to make life a lot easier trying to manage doing bulk orders and doing a ton of t-shirt orders. Having the two heat presses will be extremely, extremely nice to have. Uh, but if you are in the need of a heat press, this is a 15 by 15. This is a perfect for adult shirts um, and kids shirts. I love it. Um, the only thing I wish it had was the automatic thing where it will pop up. Um, but honestly, like... For the price and the size of the machine, I'm actually pretty impressed with this heat press. So I'm loving it, loving the DTG. I can't wait to show you guys so much content with uh, with everything. So just stay tuned. All right, guys. Well, that's gonna be it for this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video, um, and I hope you're excited for a bunch of DTG content. And of course embroidery content as well because we have another embroidery machine too so we are going full force and going really hard with our business 
we're trying to expand we're trying to do more bulk and wholesale orders um, so just stay tuned because we're gonna be doing a lot with this business so I'm excited to see where things go and I'm just loving all the new toys that I get to play with um, but Eric's probably gonna play more with the DTG um, and I'm probably gonna go to bed but I will see you guys in the next video make sure to give this video a like comment down below um, what other things you'd like to see me make on the DTG besides a t-shirt because you can make a ton of stuff with the DTG so comment ideas down below and I will test them out I will see you guys in the next video bye